Welcome everyone, Rabbit here, and today we are looking at a monster of a server PSU from Parallel Miner. This is the 94% 2400 watt Delta server PSU. So let's take a quick look at some specs here. Obviously we're 2400 watt, 94%. It is 80 plus platinum rated. But one key point to take out here, it is only 200 to 240 volt. So if you are running something like 110, 120 volt, you cannot run this power supply at all. You will need to get, upgrade your power. So this is your C20 plug that it comes with. As you can see, they are horizontal. And this is really common on any power supply, including ATX that is 1500 watts or higher. These are your cables that it comes with. As you can see, uh, the bottom are horizontal. That is a C19 that would plug in to our C20 plug right there. And the top one is a C14. So that would plug into say a C13 on your PDU. Depending on your PDU, you should be just fine with this cable. Myself, I did have to order a separate cable and I'll show you why. So before we actually look at our PDU, I just wanna go over cables in case you do have to order something for yourself, you just kinda of have an understanding of them. So up top here, this is our C13 and below it is our C14. Now the male is always the higher number over the female. So like I said, C14, C13, and essentially they're also just like an extension of themselves. You can just plug it into itself or others to make a longer cable so here is my pdu from trip light and as you can see here these are my c13 plugs and i have four banks of these with four plugs per bank but each bank is on eight amps total so what that means is i only have 50 or 1920 watts total here and at 80 percent that's 1536 watts per bank on this eight amp now to the right of those i actually have these c19 banks 12 amp each so i have four separate banks there of c19 and each one is on its own 12 amp bank and what that means is i have a total of 2880 watts on one of these plugs with an 80 percent rule of 2304 watts so this is what i do want to plug that psu in therefore i can maximize it out at 2400 watts if need be so with that being said i did order myself the c19 to c20 cables and they are thick like we'll compare that up to that one like look at the difference between these two cable sizes they are way thicker obviously they're made for a lot more power and i can utilize this based on my pdu on those 12 amp slots there for the c19s like i said this is for my pdu though there are other pdus out there where the c13 are on like 12 and 16 amp banks so you don't really have to worry but this is just for my pdu in general so i'm not telling you to go out and get this pdu in general or get that specific cable you will not need it it all depends on the pdu you have so always check its specs to make sure you're running everything properly based on your own equipment. So if you're liking what you see so far and you do have the power to run it, then I would not hesitate to pick one up because they are, uh, I believe only 4,000 in stock. And once they're gone, they may not be getting more because it would just cost way too much to restock these based on their supplier. And if they did, it would be a lot more expensive than what they are now. So just keep that in mind that these could be gone and not come back, at least for a long time. If you're not familiar with the server PSU, they are designed for 24-7 uh, use, high power usage. Like So you can like almost max them out. I still wouldn't recommend it. They are used for a server style operation where they're being used all the time at a pretty high load. Now, as you can see, there's nothing here to plug into any GPU. So if you're wondering what the heck you do next, uh, you do need a breakout board and that is one of these fancy guys like this is the ZSX We did this uh, last video uh, Check the top right corner. There'll be a link for it if you want to check that out But look at all them PCI Express slots and there's a little plug there This would actually slide straight into these nice little gold bars here, which we'll look at right quick here So as for a breakout board installation is quite simple. You just put it on top here and push it in It'll snap right into place there. 
we'll do the same thing on the other side if you want to load them both up and like so now you have 32 PCI Express slots throughout this thing that is amazing now this might have taken you if you're wondering there's two fans on this side and only one on this side they're kind of spaced apart this side here is considered your master and this side is your slave think about it as like a hard drive this side is your primary so if you don't need that side or don't want to use it yet you can just plug this one in pull this one off and this side will be running now you plug that in and this is just a fan for your slave side ultimately i think it probably does all three fans will supply air throughout the whole thing but yeah if you have a lot of cards you need to power them up so like or even say you move the raven coin and you have 10 cards 200 tdp of each card you could run all 10 cards at 2000 watts max power and still have 400 watts to spare on the peak side and be safe so yeah this thing can power a lot of gpus so many pci express slots they have no worries powering those cards you can get your risers and everything in here without breaking a sweat and having to think what to do to power my cards some other couple questions that could pop up how loud can this thing get because server power supplies are known to be fairly loud i do not know yet all i know right now is based on the 1200 watt i have one running in there uh it is pretty quiet i am not running i'm running that at about 850 watts and it is quiet can't hear it at all and it's doing good as for this if it was ramped right up i'm not sure it probably could get pretty loud do some nice whistling and whining uh if you like asics and stuff you'd love this sound i like that sound but i just don't have the cards and enough power to knock this thing all the way up to its full capacity and see how it does so i can't test it out for you guys right now and i'm sorry but i am guessing it could get pretty loud now as for another question how much does this thing cost well it comes in kits so you can kind of pick what you want depending on which breakout board if you want breakout boards how many cables but pretty much for this zsx as well as the x11 and 32 two foot uh, pci express cables it is 268 dollars total so that's actually not too bad of a price at all seeing, seeing how you get 2400 watts so that's way better than say getting uh what is this we got a 1200 watt evga here this would be like five or six hundred dollars so for like a third of the price you're getting 2400 watts with 32 pci express slots as well as a fan controller uh, you got your molex you got your saturn everything we're running off this you can run your complete system off this as long as you do have 240 volt and you also get 32 pci express cable six pin to eight pin so that's pretty insane i say that's a great deal i do have links in the description uh, to this product as well as other ones if you just want the breakout board or whatever else for parallel miners so be sure to click them and check them out okay so final thoughts on this thing uh, i think it's a great deal for the price i love this thing actually i've used it a few times but i just don't have the cards that i need this thing for at the moment i am expecting three more at least 30 60 ti cards so when they come i'll probably put what three four five six uh seven i got another one on my gaming computer eight and then probably nine so that'll be like 12 cards i'll throw on this thing and then we'll really boost it up to see how it performs and how loud it is but that'll be in a later on video but for now yeah i love this thing this thing has everything you need if you're looking to upgrade or get bigger this thing's definitely good to have in the old back pocket in case you need it obviously again it needs 240 volt and a pdu on your 30 amp if you're in europe you're good because you do have 220 volt already but you will need a different plug for your special uh, walls there but yeah overall this thing is great it's amazing i love it and can't wait to actually put a lot of power on this thing and wrap it right up so thanks for watching guys and rabbit out